Yo boys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video today on the channel where we are here with Apollo Dybala Tottenham Hotspur Career Mode Challenge. We're going to get into this thing by showing you the rules very quickly, but before we get into this thing, as I'm recording this, the Premier League transfer window has shut. And as you know, Apollo Dybala ended up not going to Tottenham. So today we're pretty much looking into what would have happened if Dybala actually went to Tottenham. Now, he'd been linked with a bunch of other teams. You know, it seemed he was going to go to Manchester United. That ended up not happening. And what did end up happening was him just staying at Juve. So let's just get into this challenge, and I'm going to show you guys how it is going to work today. So here are the rules on screen. It's pretty simple. We did one of these a few weeks back with... Crap, who was it? I can't remember who it was, but we did one a few weeks back. I'll leave that link in the top right-hand corner of the screen. So, we start with Dybala on Tottenham Hotspur, of course, and there's three simple rules to go along with that. First one is to make it more interesting, we are going to have five minutes to do a transfer window with Tottenham. The second rule is we have to sell at least three players and buy at least three players on this team. And if we don't do that, we are going to have to release a player for every one of those we don't do. So let's say we buy two and we sell three. That is one short, so we will have to release one player at random. It could be as much as, or it could be as few as zero as long as we sell and buy three. Or we could have to release multiple players, which we don't want. And then, of course, the objective is to win three out of three trophies. And then, of course, man, FIFA giveaways. FIFA 20 coming up very soon. You guys want a chance to win. For every trophy I don't win, a copy is going to be given away over on my Instagram. Go check that out. Lancer 48 over on Instagram. You just got to follow, like, and comment on my post to have a chance. I've given out so many copies already. And I'm going to continue to do it up until the release. So let's get into this challenge. So to start, let's show you guys the team. I've updated all of the transfers for Tottenham Hotspur. And here is the squad. Zavala starting at the cam position. One problem we kind of have with this team right now is that, well, Erickson, Deli Alley, like it's just too attacking. So because of the rule that we have to sell three players, I think Erickson's going to be one of those guys that I'm going to be looking into selling. We'll see, though. This is one of their new signings, Los Celso. Um, coming over from La Liga. Wow, I didn't know that. He can actually play center forward. I don't really know too much about this guy. Interesting. Very versatile player. He is in the team. Bench. We have the new signing right here. As Wait, he's new, isn't he? I believe he's new. We have a few other new signings. Um, who else do we got? Have I put any other in the starting 11? I don't think I have. Kieran Trippier obviously is off the team. He has transferred to um, Atletico Madrid. We got Sessegnon coming over from Fulham. He is going to be on the bench. And there are a few other signings, but that's what the team is looking like. Again, the attack looks good. I think what I'm trying to do with this team, bring in two defenders, a midfielder, and an attacker. I think I want an attacker just because we only have one backup striker on the bench. I want to bring in another big striker. I want to see if I can do it. Whether we need him or not. But here's the team, boys. I guess with that being said, it's just time to get into this challenge. Of course, I'm going to have the counter in the top right hand. Or I don't even I don't know where it's going to be. But I'm going to have a counter telling you how many players I've sold. How many players I have signed. So, I get my timer up. And then we can do this. Leave a like if you guys are hyped for this. Of course, the transfer window in the Premier League at least has ended. So, um, if you want to see me do another one of these. Next might be a Romelu Lukaku to Inter Milan. We might do that challenge next. That transfer has actually happened, I believe. Let's just do it, man. Five minutes on the clock. Three, two, one. Oh, God. This is going to be tough. Let's get into it, boys. The first thing I got to do, I forgot to save. I just got to save just in case the game crashes. And that literally wasted 10 seconds. I don't know why I didn't do that before I started the timer. But we're 10 seconds behind. Here's what the shortlist is looking like. And, of course, you got to delegate for all of them. First player I'm looking into is Florenzi. I would love to get two defenders and Sergio Ramos. Let's see if we can bring in two players straight away and hopefully we can get some offers. We can only sell players if we get the offers and one thing we need to take note of as the simulation is literally taking forever. Loaning players out does not count as selling them. We can loan players but there's really no point. First thing comes in and it's Toby Alderweireld, and I don't think I can accept this. It's from United, too. I, I want to bring in a center back, but I don't think we can afford to get rid of any defenders so far, and we're already a minute in, and we've literally done nothing. 
We have done absolutely nothing so far. And what do we have here? Agreement for Sergio Ramos. Freaking 59 million. Are you joking me? That's so much money, but I'm going to accept it. And we're going to delegate these wages. That would be such an expensive signing. I only think we have like 130 mil too. I need to get that offer in for Erickson though. Erickson, Deli Alley, one of the two needs to go. And we need some offers. Loan offer and an agreement for Florenzi for only 16, no, 26 million. Let's accept that. This is the one that I'm definitely going to be doing. Wage isn't too high either. So let's see if we can get them. I got to delete these because I hate when it just gets so jumbled up. And so far, a minute and a half in. Guys, please do this challenge for yourself. At home, send me your tweets, Instagram DMs as well. And we have our first agreement. It's Sergio Ramos and it's for a huge amount. And we have our first player. Sergio Ramos brought into the team, boys. Let's go. That is one player checked off. And so far, we need to start selling. Please, we need offers. It's going to come to a point. Here we go, Aurier. It's looking like we're going to bring it, bring in Florenzi. So I might just accept this. Let's do it. We kind of did a swap deal right there. I need to sell players. So, all right, that works. And let's, let's try to bring in another player. Um, what am I doing? I'm getting lost. I'm going to go for our midfielder. Where is he? Oh, my God. I must have not shortlisted him. I wanted Sancho. I need to find him. I know we don't have right, left mids on this team. But as a super sub, Jaden Sancho, the youngster, we are about halfway through. He does have a 40 million release clause, but I think I can get him for a little bit cheaper. We're going to go for the youngster, Jaden Sancho. Can we do it? God, I can't believe this dude's so good for 18 years old. It's absolutely crazy. Well, let's go for that. And just to be sure, I also want to offer for Kai Havertz. Obviously, Havertz is going to cost a little bit more. We got two minutes, though. We need to make these signings, and we need to make them fast. Can we? Hopefully the Oreo deal goes through. And there's an Ericsson offer. Let's go. So next up, Florenzi brought in. Two players have been bought. Let's go. And here it is. Ericsson. How much are they offering? 76 mil. Let's go ahead and accept that. So that's going to be two players sold and two players bought. With a minute in 40 left. All right. What are we saying here? Another offer for Ericsson. Florenzi has accepted. Oh, wait, I already accepted that. What am I doing? It's at this point here where I just start to get so many emails. I don't know what's going on. Sure, we'll accept another one. Man United offering for Ericsson. We have a minute left. I need to make one more signing, and I need to sell one more player. What do we have here? Please, let's get that Sancho deal. Oh, my God, transfer. No. Transfer offers just broke down. That's not good. Hopefully, the Havertz deal is going to be working. We have a minute. Oh, no. Erickson sold. Aurier sold. Erickson transfer. Okay, well, never mind. Erickson already sold with one of the teams they broke down. Okay. I'm dude, I'm gonna go in for a big one here. Last minute. Lewandowski. I don't even know if I have enough money for that. And let's offer for Gomez as well. We have 45 seconds, and I need to do this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sell one more player. I think I just might have to take the L right there. Oh my god. It's so stressful. This is why I want you guys to try this for yourself and see if you can complete it. Five minutes is not a lot of time. Oh my god. Davies, Dyer. I think I'd rather sell Dyer, except this might this might actually work. But I don't know if we're going to be able to sign this last player. And it's going to be so hurtful because we sold Erickson. Please. Transfer offers broke down. Are you absolutely joking me? It's not going to happen, man. We got 10 seconds. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. But will Davies go through? I need Davies to sell real quick. Please. I might have to release two players. If not, this is it. Did the Davies offer go through? That is my timer. It didn't. Oh my God. I guess since we already accepted the Davies offer for like for him to go, look at all these offers that have been accepted, but I just can't do anything with them because we didn't have enough time. Let me just sim ahead because I need to make sure because if Davies sells, then we're going to count that one. But if the offer for some reason... There. Oh, Dyer. Why did I say Davies? Dyer sold. So we did end up selling three, but we only brought in two. Unless we're going to have a lot of money left because of that Erickson deal. Wow. 130 mil. I think I messed that one up. What I really should have done was just offered for everyone at the beginning. And I offered for players too late. And we ended with 130 mil. And I have to release a player as well. All right, we did this in the last video. 
I gotta do the face cam while I'm releasing someone just so you guys don't think I'm cheating. So pretty much what I'm gonna do, let's just turn around. I got the squad up, you guys can see it on screen. I'm gonna just go back and forth and I cannot see anything. So you should be able to see me moving on the screen. Let's just go up and down a little bit. I really don't know what's going on. It's all behind me. And let's stop on this player right here. Who is it? Oh, it's one of the new signings. It's actually one of the new signings for Tottenham in real life. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this down. That sucks, though. He's got to go. Out of all the players. Yeah. Wow, we really butchered this one. I, I need to... For future of these challenges, I, I need to have a better strategy going forward. Let's see what the team looks like. He legit made two signings. At least... At least we already had a strong midfield to begin with. Florenzi at right back. And we also brought in the main man, Ramos. So, um, we'll do that. Ramos in, Florenzi in, Erickson out, and crap, Dyer out. Who else? We actually sold so many players. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not too confident about this. I think we actually made the team worse. But these are the rules, boys. Of course, what is going to happen next? We got to sim the season. We're going to go all the way through till the end and i'm gonna hope i'm gonna have to hope that we ended up winning the treble let's do it calendar boys and i'm not confident we'll see you guys when the season simmed well um if this isn't any indication as to tell you how bad we messed up in the transfer window here it is man we literally got sacked like how does this happen i don't even know what let's just advance i don't know where we're at in the season but it doesn't look like like did we just straight up lose the challenge there is that just a straight epic fail i want to know like is the season over where are we at let's just choose huddersfield for our next team to sign for what the hell just happened i mean we couldn't have been doing that bad right we'll find out i guess let's just see it's gonna take a minute here but we made two signings we did sell three players like our the team should be good enough to at least finish top five in the league. Regardless of us signing anyone, doing anything, we're literally in January and we're done. What the hell? Um, there, FA Cup hasn't even started. Premier League. Spur, Spurs are in 20th. 20th. They did that bad. What? Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm genuinely confused. Because this shouldn't happen. That team is... The players that are on Spurs right now are way too good to be in to be that low in the bottom three. Okay, what am I doing here? I need the game is just so delayed. I'm trying. Okay, here we go. Let's find Spurs and let's see what well, let's see what the team's looking like. Tottenham Hotspur. Like it's, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Harry Kane five goals. Dybala five. Sun three. Deli Ali three. Like the team looks fine to me. Why are we performing this poorly? All right, so what I ended up doing is just simming the end of the season. There's still a chance that Tottenham may have done something in the Champions League, may have done something in the FA Cup, but this this might go down as an epic fail. This whole entire video, we are going to find out. Even though we're not managing Tottenham, we're still, like, what's going to be determined is how they have finished in the league. And it looks like they've done a little bit better. Huddersfield, the team that we switched to, finished in dead last. And Spurs moved up to 10th. I still don't understand how they did that poorly. Like, career mode, you're just broken. Man City, United, Liverpool, Everton are the top four. Let's find out these other competitions. FA Cup, give me Spurs, man. At least let me win one. West Ham, interesting. All right, West Ham first. Where did Spurs finish? Anywhere. Hello, Tottenham. No, where are we? <laughs> where are they, man? Um, I might have just passed over them. Or maybe they just finished this poorly. Hello. Someone. EA. What is going on? Tottenham. I, hold, hold on. I literally can't find them. All right. Here they are. Round three. Losing to Middlesbrough. What is happening? I've never seen this before in a career mode. This may have something to do with the brand new update. Because I just have no idea. Champions League. There's no way Spurs could have done well in the Champions League. There's zero way. But they didn't win it. So 0 for 3. Epic fail in this one. I don't even think they went made it out of the group stage. They made it out of the group. If they, they probably finished dead last. Okay, third. Ah, wow, they actually tied Inter on points. Still, I don't understand this. 
We got sacked. We only signed two players. Boys, I'll try to do better in the next one. This was this was terrible. Like this was absolutely terrible. And I'm I'm guessing you guys could do better. Giveaway though is gonna be over on Instagram. You guys know the drill. Follow, like, comment. You guys are answered. I'm trying to give away a bunch of copies. And um besides that, like I said, send me the screenshots over on Twitter of how you guys did. Yeah. You probably did better than me. Just rub it in. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys for another episode later on. Catch you guys then. Peace.